they were so eager and so curious to try something new that it was extremely inspiring for me. The, the most beautiful thing about it is that it's so real because it's not real at all, right? I think our main task for Shakun was how to create a space where actors feel safe, inspired and excited to experiment and to try something new at the same time when their boundaries are not being crossed. Hi, this is Dargai and you're watching me on Etai. Hi, this is Amina Sheikh here and with me today I have the Intimacy Director Dar Gai who has shot some amazing scenes for Gehraya, welcoming her on E-Times. Hey, how are you? I'm happy to be here. So uh, to begin with Dar Gai, what does your name mean? It's a very difficult, it's not difficult actually, but it's quite a different name, I must say. Um, well, Dar means uh, in, in a lot of different languages. Um, it means the gift, and in Ukrainian, guy means the the garden. Hmm. So then we can just have different types of combination of these two words. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, you know, Adar, you have worked in the you know Indian cinema. You have done a lot of projects. This is not the first one, but for us, it's the first time that we have an intimacy director shooting such intimate scenes for Gehraya. So tell us about your experience of working on this project. Mm, experience was extremely collaborative, um, very inspiring because everyone whom I worked with, starting from actors to the crew and of course Shakun, they knew the role of intimacy director and why Shakun wanted to have an intimacy director on set mm. and how it can make, in a way, everyone's life more easy. Mm. And that understanding brought me to the part of the project where I was conducting different workshops, where I was directing choreographing certain scenes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think our main task for Shakun was how to create a space where actors feel safe, inspired, and excited to experiment and to try something new at the same time when their boundaries are not being crossed. But how difficult also was it for you considering, you know, the audience is quite different over here. Uh, when they see intimate scenes, you know, in India, to be very frank, there is a special section of audience who don't like it, who keep on like, you know, trolling these actresses or actors for that matter, or, you know, talk in a different way. So how difficult was it knowing the background of, you know, the culture we follow and how people actually observe, you know? Absolutely. You know, I, I don't think that um, there is any difference between certain types of audiences because at the end of the day, our own personal experience, the way how, what we, whether we want it or not, whether we're coming from conservative families or not, what we are go going through as teenagers, what we're going through when we start dating or getting married. And, um, and our look at it, sometimes it's not just about your geographical or like <laughs> cultural boundaries, right? but what you subconsciously find aesthetical or not aesthetical. Let's say when we watch some of the item numbers, right? Mm -hmm. They can be as in a way disturbing as any other intimacy scenes. I think my task was to create scenes which don't feel disturbing, which don't feel odd, where, which feels natural and can speak to you on the level of whether you can relate to it or not, mm -hmm. right? The idea was just to, in a way, recreate butterflies that we feel while going through different types of, of relationships. Hmm. But also, you know, the scenes are quite good. I must say the way you have shot it, it looks so real, you know, it looks so good to actually see that, you know, it actually feels like, you know, these actors are in a relationship and doing this. How was it for you to bring that chemistry in them? The, the most beautiful thing about it is that it's so real because it's not real at all, right? Mm -hmm. And because the techniques that we have found, because of the tools that we've used during our workshops and then pre-shooting the scene allowed us to, to be able to recreate it again and again. When we were not looking at our bodies, when we were not looking at our hands or at our lips or at our, um, and ourselves as a, 
actually my body, like Dara's body, but it was just a body, right? It was just the way how we hold the bottle, it's the way how we can hold someone's hand. I don't need to feel attractive to my um, partner, to my act, to co-actor, to be able to recreate certain emotions that we see on the scene, but we need to understand which combination of the shots, which combination of the angles can recreate the idea of as if it's real. There's a lot of, um, in a way, um, tricks hmm. are used where you as an audience, you feel in a certain way, you are able to believe in it when actually it's just the right angles, the right um, camera movement, the right lighting um, that allows us to create that. But to understand what we need to create, hmm. that's the most important thing. We understand the outcome. Outcome, we want people to feel that it's real. But the idea is how to achieve it. So this is when our workshops comes into place, when we are breaking down with our actors what they want, what they don't want, what their experiences, what, how can we bring those experiences um, on the screen. And uh, it's like just like putting together a puzzle. I would say it's, um, it's, like, it's like a dance. It's like a dance choreography. Hmm. Uh, do we believe in it while we are dancing? We're just dancing. Right? But to be able to dance, we need to have enough stretching power in you, enough uh, understanding of how your body movements work, and enough practice. And this is what Intimacy Director does. Also, you know, Dargai, following which, following these scenes, you know, a lot of people appreciate it for sure. But even there were a section of people who told Deepika because she was married. And after that, you know, she did, she did you know, such scenes and all. So what are your thoughts on that? What do you have to say about that? Um, I'm not sure exactly what um, what things we're talking about because I don't I usually I don't follow um, much of the responses. I just I, I'm making sure that my actors are safe, my actors are open to do what they're doing, mm. um, and I can take care of their physical as well as um, I guess psychological safety mm. and make sure that they are fine. Um, and then everything is left to the to the audience. And I think if audience feels so much, it means that um, the techniques that we use, they work mm -hmm. because they believe in the lies in a way, right? Because everything that you see on the screen is a lie. And, but the fact that people take it seriously, it means, I guess, it, it, it works. Talking about your, you know, experience of working with Deepika Padukone, you know, Ananya Pandey, Siddhan Chaturvedi, what, you, what we would like to say about them as actors and as human beings also personally? Mm -hmm extremely collaborative, extremely polite, very, uh, and like, very professional. Of course, when I was conducting the workshop, I didn't know how they will react to me. I didn't know how they will, um, whether they will accept all the terms that, of kind of the new world that we'll be creating together, right? Um, but they were so eager and so curious to try something new. That it was extremely inspiring for me. It, I think it just proved me that every, all actors involved in it, were extremely professional, but at the same time, um, they had this childish naivety that always helps us and pushes us to be better than over yesterday. Also, the film talks about infidelity. So, you know, dealing with such a topic, which is quite a delicate one, you know, it's not only about India, it's overall, you know. So what do you have to say about that? How was that for you? I think this is a great question to ask Shakun. I would love to see Shakun reply, replying that. Um, see, as a filmmaker, you're telling the story. And this is the story uh, which shows a very complicated, unique relationships, which explores everything in a gray zone. And I think exploration of the gray zone is very, it's very new for us and very unusual. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm really, I'm really good to see what would be audience response to that. Also, the, you know, uh, you know, talking about your own journey, you started your career at the age of 10 and you have done plays and you have made your mark over there. What made you come to India? What excited you to be a part of, you know, the Indian film industry? Oh, I think it was just a coincidence, snowball effect of everything. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing my bachelor and master in philosophy and then I still remember one weird incident that happened. I was preparing for my final master exam and a random old man and I was reading philosophy. I was reading Immanuel Kant and a weird old man came to me and he looked at me and he said, what are you reading? I said, I'm, I'm reading, you know, philosophy. He said, you should read Indian philosophy. I'm like, what? 
-hmm. and I look at him and he just left yeah. so and then I um I was trying to do my PhD but then I got an invitation from Cynthia school to come um and visit India mm -hmm. and this is I guess how everything started um I have another weird I guess coincidence that pushed a lot of journey that happened later on when in Cindia I met um, Jyoti Aditya Cindia and Anand Mahindra mm -hmm. and Anand saw my play and he, he really liked it and he said you definitely should come to Bombay and you should explore um, mm -hmm. the industry here and I was not sure about it and mm -hmm. he said but you know what you have you have that energy but I think and I, I, I of course I told him that I love uh, I love India and I love exploring it he said if you want to start something new you have to know the roots of it Mm. So Jotaritya agreed with him and then cut to, I spent three months traveling on the train all over India, yeah. uh, exploring the country and Anand was right. So that, I guess this is how the story started and so many ideas for my future and future films and yeah, everything started from, I guess, that train. How do you land up in Shakun Batra's film? Um, we, I mean, we're friends for a long time and we want to collaborate on something um, or the other. Hmm. And when we were discussing a couple of music vid videos of, of mine, we wanted to see if we can also fit the certain chemistry that we were able to explore there, if we can also bring it on, on this film. And then um, Shikwan thought about, about intimacy direction. And he explained what he wanted to have in the film. He, he explained what he wanted from me. And in a way, I had to figure out how all that will work. And uh, I was excited because I knew from so many people that he's extremely, um, ex extremely collaborative as a director. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I always was looking forward to kind of like have this connection with, with someone. And being on the set with him, I would say it's a dream. Like it's a dream for any actress because it's, it's a director who, who gives you hope, who gives you inspiration, who gives you so much confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, also, he wants to know what's your opinion about the scene. He wants to know what's your, um, if you have anything to say in, in the scene. And it's incredible. I think it's the best kind of relationship to have between actor and director. And he has that, which is extremely unique. Also, apart from this, you have worked in this song called Liggy. And that became quite popular that even, you know, Salman Khan promoted on his social media. And we saw like, you know, I saw the shots of it, you know, how you're actually, you know, making that girl prep for her role and, you know, the actress, you know. So tell us something about that as well. Like, you know, how was it working for it? Because it became quite a popular song also. And apart from that, you have worked with, you know, Ritwiz for other projects also, but this one was quite special. Um, yeah, I would say so. I, I directed the music video and um, the idea was exact, exactly the same again to make actor feel comfortable, make people person understand what exactly we are going for, what's the narrative we're trying to build. Mm. So I would say sometimes, yes, intimacy direction and direction itself can, can just be interlinked. And depending whom you're working with and how you define the roles, it can be extremely helpful. So yeah, it was great. <laughs> Also, like, you know, you were on, you know, TEDx as well. And, you know, you have given some good speech over there. Apart from that, you also said, you know, people get confused quite often while, you know, expressing themselves. And, you know, sometimes they feel like, you know, he or she like feel like, you know, killing someone, you know, 50 times in different ways and all. And, you know, the way you actually elaborated a lot of things about, you know, how people in India think. Can you, you know, you know, throw some light on that? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess everyone... Um, are going through different experiences, whether you're a director, whether you're an actor, whether whatever you're creating, all of us were creators, whether you're just a, you're, you're a journalist, whether you are you are a tech startup owner, we are always creating. While we are creating, it demands certain sacrifice from our side in terms of our time, in terms of our emotions. And that's why all of us are vulnerable. All of us are going through um, different emotional roller coasters. And I think we as filmmakers, we need to keep in mind the vulnerability of another person. Mm -hmm. And when you work with that vulnerability, to know that it's really precious and to know that, let's say, when actor come on set, they trust their vulnerability mm -hmm. to you. They give that vulnerability to you. They allow you to enter their world that always need to be treated with, in a way, love and care. So all of us, we are fragile um, creatures who are in need of 
love and care, whether we're actors or we are we own any other professions. So I think we just need to yeah to treat each other with slightly more care and slightly more love. You also convinced your producer once to have his driver Namdev in a movie. <laughs> Tell us about that incident because you know you're quite happy to narrate that, and it was quite good to see that part. I really want to know more about it. Uh, I I just feel the way how I forced Namdev Bhau to be lead actor in my film is the way how Shakun forced me to be. a uh, part of of his film i'm like yeah i'm not sure i should do it like no you have to do it no matter no matter what mm-hmm. um so i think yeah he was quite convinced about that somehow and um when i saw namdeep of course i realized that the only the truth that he can bring on screen i wouldn't be able to bring through any other actors mm-hmm. and the experience of working with non actors in a fiction feature film was extremely inspiring for me Also talking about Gehraya itself, this is the first time we, of course, you know, had an intimate, you know, intimacy director. Apart from that, this is the first time the intimacy director has also got credits. Following which, a lot of people on social media were quite, you know, feeling good about it. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I think it's great. I think I um, mean, um, Shakun understands the importance of intimacy directors, intimacy coaches, intimacy um, coordinators for the industry. and it was absolutely his call we never discussed that we never discussed the credits and we i i think subconsciously he he knew that this is something that can maybe push the industry to have a bit more of that or change the industry so whole credit just goes to him and understanding the importance of it i feel that i didn't know importance um before we had this long discussion with shakun and this is really like extremely beautiful he's able to to uh, he, he's able to create vision for something that can impact so many different people what are your upcoming projects you're working on apart from this i would say we are working on a lot of exciting projects that uh, i really hope you will watch and you will relate and you will feel butterflies and you feel all kind of roller re- coaster of emotions that i'm planning to take you on i hope so we'll check that we'll pass the roller coaster and before i let you go what expectations should i and the audience have from gehraya you know is that moment when you are climbing the mountain right and you know that no matter what you actually climb the mountain on time and there's just like there are three steps left and there is just if you take those three steps you will see the sunset at the right time and when you just about to take that those three steps you feel anticipation and, and those incredible emotions and butterflies this is that those those three steps three steps before you see the sunset thank you so much zargai for your interview and i'm hoping that i feel that emotion when i watch the movie <laughs> but i'm sure i'm already feeling that when i watch the trailer <laughs> and the songs so definitely it's going to be a good one thank you so much for your time thank you thank, thank you so much, much.